LinkedIn, Instagram, Clubhouse, um, YouTube, anything else I'm missing, love? <laughs> and soon to be Patreon family, this podcast is going to be part of the bonus material. Please look out next week for the brand new launch of hashtag PTSD is real, brutally honest life coaching with this coyote. Don't forget, family, this is part of my doctoral dissertation project. I will be Dr. Dre in May, family. Watch out, world. But this is going to be um, part of our bonus material, so please look out. It is a family affair. The love of my life is a senior electrical engineer in real life, but he is always on Team Crazy. We are here to take over the world, family, and you know this coyote is going to be president of the United States or Emperor Empress of the Americas by the time I'm 64. So join us here, family. We're always bringing you quality content, highlighting our global family and their superhero stories, one lived experience at a time. So tonight, we're going to go ahead and get started with Wet Your Appetite. We have our introductions, and then we're going to do Excellent Eats and Drinks with Neil. The love of my life, as you know, family, always produces excellent and delicious eats for this coyote. I'll be honest, I'm a little spoiled. After that, family, we're going to do the dish of the week, which is our critical discussion period, followed by Just Desserts, which is our weekly guest interview with our wonderful brother here, Roy Kenny. Wet our appetite! So you know me, family. <laughs> I am also super excited to be introducing next week, hopefully, with any luck. I'll be taking my yoga exam certifications this weekend, family. So look out with hashtag res yoga with Drea Coyote. I will be incorporating my love of yoga. And you know, family, I have been sharing my transformational story, dying at 35, 290 pounds. I had gastric bypass and had been diabetic since I was 15 years old. I had eye surgeries, leg damage, kidney damage, family, and I could not see a future for myself. But with the help of my family, I am able to keep up the 110 pounds, become a real life superhero, advocate, vlogger, published author, Ivy League graduate, pastor of Coyote's Lodge, House of Spirituality, Critical Race Theory, and Medical Marijuana. Don't forget, family, our services started up again on Wednesdays at 6 p.m. In addition, family, I now train and compete in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. So keep following my, my story, family, and I will be sharing my secrets with you all. Babe, why don't you go ahead and tell them, how did you find your love of cooking? And why do you have such delicious food all the time? <laughs> uh, mainly my parents and grandparents. <laughs> uh, good family recipes, and uh, I grew up make coffee pancakes, bacon, eggs. Oh. So yes. <laughs> and I can tell you, family, his pancakes, oh, the cheesy eggs, oh, you saw the pictures from this weekend. Those were fresh tomatoes from our garden family. I'm just saying, Chef Neil, the love of my life, saves me every day with his delicious food. And this evening, family, our weekly guest is Roy Kenny. He is the founder of New Mexico Extras and Actors Forum. Please check it and like it as well as join at New Mexico Extras and Actors Forum and it's on Facebook family. And today's theme is the film industry in, of New Mexico. So let's go ahead and take a little bit more time to get to know our amazing guest. Hi Roy, are you a native New Mexican or where are you from? No, I'm not a native New Mexican. Actually, I'm from Rideau. I think we could tell from the accent, right, family? <laughs> <laughs> Just say. Just say. Um, yeah, I'm actually from Manchester, England, and I've lived here for 20 years. 20 years, family. I think that makes it official. I think we'll adopt him. <laughs> We're keeping you, Roy. So tell me, Roy, you um, started this amazing forum on Facebook. What can our amazing global family um, what kind of information can they get by following your form? 20 years ago, oh sorry, 10 years ago, um, Facebook was just uh, new. And um, when it became a little popular, I thought, you know, let's create a group. There's no group page out there. So I got a friend of mine and 
and we um, met with a few people and we contacted uh, different casting directors and said, hey, if you have a posting, any background, hit me up, you know, so we're on, on the group page and get your tapes and your what it is that you need. Well, we added from one to two people a week to five to ten, and before you know it, there's a hundred people in the group page, and now a thousand, then more, another thousand, and now almost ten thousand. And those that are already members will know that I wrote to you, and every single member of the group has been wrote to by me personally. There's no, um, there's no, uh, oh, there's no one following the, uh, the page where they edit, they don't, um, they don't, uh, approve or disapprove likes. I'm the sole founder and the sole runner of the Next Creative Nexus Forum. Wow, that sounds great. And that growth is amazing. I'll tell you honestly, family, I have the Abedi Consulting Group page. I think we have 40 followers. So don't forget to tag, like, and follow. But that is amazing. You said almost 10,000 followers? Mm -hmm. Wow, family, I'm definitely impressed. So don't forget to look up his page and join. Because family, let's be honest, the film industry in New Mexico is here to stay. So I don't know, even this coyote has thought about trying to be an extra on a set in a movie, why not? It sounds like a fun adventure. We're gonna be talking more with our amazing guests to find out more about his adventures. Give us one sec, family. But first, we are gonna go ahead and talk about the love of my life's amazing food. Because let's be honest, family, I can never quite get enough of it. <laughs> Technical difficulties. Here we go. All right, love. So tonight we have the film industry of New Mexico as our theme, and the dish of the week is what? Oh, it's a spicy pork bulgogi. <laughs> it's a stir fry. Uh, interesting recipe. Uh, first time trying trying it, and I'd say it was a success. Bay, you're supposed to use the cute name I came up with. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Spice up your life, pork stir fry family, mm -hmm. and I can tell you. It was delicious. What did you do with those vegetables again? I'm telling you, they were so flavorful. Uh, basically just cooked them in um, garlic, um, onions. Uh, secret, uh, use a little bit of coconut oil. Oh, I'm just saying, family, if you haven't tried cooking with coconut oil, step up. To, it steps up your game. I am not <laughs> joking. It's in addition, family, our alcoholic drink of the week is adult lemonade. Cheers, brother, to your success, to your continued success. We are having a great time, family. I hope you are as well. Thank you so much for joining us tonight on Friday night or in the future because you know that you can always get this Coyote's Vlogs anytime on Facebook as well as on our YouTube channel. Don't forget to follow and like at Drea Beta. All right, family, we are here for the dish of the week, which is the beginning of our critical discussion. Family, I am here to remind you that if everything is not okay in your life, it is not you. It is COVID, it is the ramifications of colonization, slavery, the fact that this empire is built on stolen indigenous land, the housing crisis, the economic crisis, inflation, lack of jobs, and let's be honest, we are all stretched to the gills. So don't forget, family, if you need a helping hand, reach out. This coyote and your loved ones are always a direct message, phone call, or email away. So tonight, family, we're going to go ahead and get started right, punch, <laughs> right to the point. Our first question tonight for our brother Roy is, how has COVID affected the film industry in New Mexico? Brother, we're going to go ahead and take it over to you. So you said you've been doing um, work in the film industry for about 10 years now. Um, how have you seen that transition, right? What do you think has been the biggest effect 
um, regarding your work because of COVID? Well, before COVID, um, as many of us know, that you could walk into a phone set, uh, drop of a hat, and make a phone call, be a phone call, can you work? Yes. Now it's COVID testing, and and 99% of all sets, you have to be uh, vaccinated. Some you don't, but most do. So um, it's a big challenge for um, getting on set. Now, two years ago when COVID hit, and when we tried to come back, um, it was a lot of challenges and um, trying to make sure we get everyone who's been tested and have the right protocols. And then if someone had COVID and then see to the protocols of what is what takes place. And usually the production shut down. And to this day, um, wow. it still happens. Wow, I can't imagine that because it COVID has changed a lot of industries. Um, but that actually you have to come pre qualify before you go to the set. But again, family is keeping our community safe. How do you feel about that, brother? Do you think that it's um, the the safety factors that are implemented? Do you think that it's actually keeping our community safe? I like to think so. I mean, you have to wear masks on set, which can be overbearing and annoying because we forget um, there's different procedures and different well, different sets. So you, you actually forget to wear a mask, and then we call ones that monitor us wearing masks, we call them COVID police, and they can be quite strict. Oh, are there consequences if, um, if you're not wearing your mask on set? You can be one once or twice, and then they can get really kind of like in your face and be sent home if you're not being careful. Oh, wow. How about you, Love? Do you have any questions so far about our amazing um, guests with his experiences so far with the film industry in New Mexico? Um, I haven't come prepared with the question. <laughs> uh, he was cooking food, family. <laughs> That's what he's in charge of. We can go ahead and go on to our second question for the evening, family. The second one is give us a lowdown. How is working in the film industry? Do you love it? Would you suggest it for other people? Um, what do you think of it? How do you like it so far? Well, I've been around it for 10 years in New Mexico, so um, it's, it's, you keep mentioning with family, and film industry is a family. Once on set. Love it, love it, family. <laughs> <laughs> you make instant friends, lifelong friends. I mean, there's some watches, some people here I've known since the day I walked in. And I've just been in one set, and then the next set, the next set. It's like your family. And conversations just run, and even though you may not see them in person on a regular basis, but come on set, you know, topics just run and you're a family and that's what really counts. I love it. I'll be honest, I'm fascinated. It seems like so much fun. Well, you guys know, I like cameras <laughs> and they like me. <laughs> just kidding. That's how I'm going to get to the White House family. <laughs> just kidding. Trump changed everything, I swear. <laughs> our last question for Dish of the Week, which is our critical discussion, is what advice do you have for budding actors and actresses? I'm my non-binary siblings. So anyone who comes to New Mexico and is like, I'm totally going to make a break here, what advice would you have for them? Well, you've got to start somewhere. So um, at least walk a little before you can run. Do the background that I'm saying, watch, learn, do the standing thing, you know, uh, watch them, ask questions, um, respect the elder, respect the actors, you know, um, don't talk to them unless they talk to you, just respectful and um, watch and learn. I mean, it's vast the film here and it will continue to grow. And as long as they, we respect the film industry, uh, don't, don't take it for granted. 
they will always keep coming back. I think that's great advice, actually, not only just for the film industry, but for any career family. You watch, you learn, and you be respectful in that space. Thank you so much, brother, for giving us the lowdown of how COVID affected the film industry in New Mexico. We're going to go ahead and go to the next section, family, which is a little bit more personal. And don't forget, family, this is eating, which we already did, drinking, and this coyote always covers the smoking. <laughs> I am a medical marijuana advocate, researcher, and revolutionary. I'm also a trauma survivor multiple times over, including rape and molestation as a child as a ramification of Indian boarding schools, police brutality in 2008, and taking out a white male academic predator in 2018. I have also faced the police not once, but twice in the last two years in my roles during protests as an international graduate student leader. I'm asking you family, medical marijuana is a medication that saved my life and allows me to do incredible and super things. So please help me spread the word and decriminalize my medication. Thank goodness the state of New Mexico finally went recreational. All right, brother, we're going to go ahead and get into the best part of every podcast, which this coyote super loves, which is getting to know a little bit more about you. So this segment is called Just Desserts Family and is our weekly guest interview. And again, we have my dear brother, Roy Kenny. Please join and follow him on Facebook at Roy Kenny. He is the founder of New Mexico Extra and Actors Forum. Don't forget to like and follow their Facebook page at New Mexico Actors and Actors Forum. And uh, brother, we're gonna go ahead and get started. I'm gonna read his bio family and please remember that he is available for acting jobs here in New Mexico. So he has been in New Mexico for 20 years, which I absolutely believe family, he is now adopted. He's been in the film industry here for over 10 years. He formed the New Mexico um, Actors Forum on Facebook. And he loves it very much. And it was established as a go-to place to attract new people for gigs. So basically what he does, family, is he connects actors with jobs, has created a community that started with trickling in, and now has 10,000 followers. So if that's not impressive, family, he is here to make waves. He has, um, let's see here. He likes to run the whole thing by himself. And if you join his forum family or have joined his forum, he is personally interacted. So there is no one else behind that amazing Facebook group. When you're talking to um, the admin, you're actually corresponding with my brother Roy right here. Um, he is originally from England and he prides himself on being very much the English gentleman. And again, he's been here for 20 years. So he's been around the film industry going back to his high school years and 40, ooh, 40 years. We don't want to date you, brother. <laughs> he has spent the last 10 located and based here in Albuquerque and here in New Mexico. Um, he's currently involved in an independent movie um, and is part of one of the core cast members. Maybe he'll give us a preview about that. <laughs> And as well as the movies in post-production, and it's going to wrap in a couple months. So definitely, family, my brother Roy is going to be a regular here as we highlight and talk about critical issues here in New Mexico, around the United States, and of course, around the globe. Um, but let's go ahead and get into the nitty-gritty of it. So, dear brother, my burning question of the evening, who's the most famous person you think you've ever seen? Have you ever been starstruck by someone on set? Oh, I wish you asked me that earlier. Thought <laughs> <laughs> oh, they crossed my mind. Oh my god! Oh. I've seen so many. <laughs> so many! Oh goodness! I mean, um, the ladies were probably jealous that I <coughs> worked me. with Johnny Depp. Johnny Depp. But Wait, is he still coach or do we still like Johnny Depp? Or did he get cancelled? <laughs> Just kidding, family. Oh. <laughs> Hashtag cancel culture is real. <laughs> Just kidding. Go oh, ahead, brother. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I've watched, I think, unfortunately, I've seen all of the pirate movies. Yeah. Yeah, we totally have. 
And then, um, what's his name? Uh, from, um, what's that main actor from, oh, I forgot his name. I've met so many. <laughs> Not to no. go on, but um, I've been like blessed with uh, meeting so many, you know, uh, favorites, including what's the guy called who is in who, um, in Lost? He he played. Um, did you see the TV show Lost? You guys, I have got to be completely honest. I don't remember famous people. Like I have a blank in my brain. If I meet you in real life, if I've worked with you in the community, I'll know you. If you're on TV, I'm sorry. Don't know who you are. He was the bald guy in Lost, anyway. And he was like the comic. Saw Lost. He was the comic relief, basically. And I was not. You see, Starstruck. I guess I was kind of like. Locke. There's Locke. His name, his 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 character's called Locke, and um, I've seen him so many times in different series. But the Lost uh, series was just awesome. And um, you watched it, didn't you? No. Okay, just kidding. Sorry, Billy. Really. <laughs> so if you um, oh, what was it called? That TV series he made. Um, Anyway, um, I saw him with distance. I thought, oh my god, I saw Locke. Um, <laughs> so, um, even though he's not a, 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 a actor per se, um, I've seen so many a actors. Suppose they would be, you know, um, in the industry for the last 10 years. But uh, I guess Locke was my kind of, oh, I see Locke. <laughs> That's really cool. How would you say that the, I guess, film industry has changed with the increase in like streaming services in the for those markets in like the last decade or so? Has it changed much? Or I would say it's given more opportunity for um, for his background and access to um, have be they have work for us. So. Uh, as the um, cable channels have increased in constantly, mm -hmm. um, so as they were. Hold on. Time out, family. This is my straw. This is my favorite blowtorch. Mini blowtorch, please do not burn down your house, family. But I make them stop because you basically can't really hear it. Time out. Smoke break, family. <laughs> Those of you at home, please join me. <laughs> I'm smoking by myself, family. I'm the only smoker in the house right now. So you are smoking with me in spirit, family. <laughs> Don't forget to like and comment and share. I'm on a mission for my ancestors to transform the world, family. And it all starts with a global empire via social media. So please, please, please spread the word. I am also booking guests um, about a month out, family. If you are a current amazing superhero doing your own thing and you would like to get promoted on my social media network of 26,000 and growing, please don't forget to DM me or email me at the Abeta Consulting Group at gmail.com. Oh, family, I kind of felt like a robot. <laughs> the Abeta Consulting Group at gmail.com. Please don't forget to check out our website, abetaconsulting.com as well. Okay, brother. Game on. <laughs> okay, back to, you just said you had a film that wraps, right? It's wrapping. It's wrapping. Yes, we're not quite there yet. Oh, okay. And can you tell us a little bit more about your character in that one? All I can say about my about the actual movie is that we we are um, kind of mobsters, kind of um, uh, hitmen, and there's a, a, a drug thing, and it's based in. Really? So it's actually a gangster movie with drugs in Alfred 
messy up. Like it's like, wow, that's cool. The theme, the theme itself has um, about distribution drugs in New Mexico, basically, and a way to do it. Uh, obviously, I'm not going to say how, but um, what's his face? <laughs> Is it like an action or more drama oh, type? It's a drama, it's action. <laughs> I almost, gave, I, almost gave, I almost gave the title away, so... <laughs> <laughs> We're tricky like that, family. <laughs> okay, I have another question. So, what is it like? You have to be there at, like, 5 a.m., right? So, what time do you actually get up? What's a regular day of shooting look like? So, for those who have done background before, we do it for the passion. We won't stay there from five until almost midnight. Wow, that's Sometimes, a long day. You know, we won't be willing to stand in the freezing cold. Um, and when they say... Just kidding, family, that's off the table. Coyote doesn't want to do that. <laughs> when they say, Jack is off, and you're like, it's supposed to be set in springtime, and it's in the middle of winter. <laughs> We've been on sets, fairground sets, and um, uh, rodeo scenes, and they'll shout the codes off, and it's like, uh, are you kidding us? Are you kidding us? You know, we're like, oh, in fact, we did one uh, movie uh, called Daybreak, and uh, with a, like a, I, I keep, I keep my seat on pilot. Say a zombie. Mm -hmm. We wanted a zombie uh, scene, and it's about a school, and uh, it's basically the, the kids um, become the leaders as all the adults become the zombies, mm -hmm. basically. Um, mm -hmm. And one of the scenes. It sounds familiar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's with uh, Matthew Broderick. Right? Yes, that's yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's kind of funky. You scene. probably totally saw it then. <laughs> yes. Going back. To because you don't think about the actors you actually you recognize. Because again, I've, I've seen the fact I'm so many. Um, but Matthew Broderick, yeah. Because you know what? He's not changed a bit. <laughs> he so is timeless, isn't he? I would love to meet him. Matthew Broderick, I would love to meet you. <laughs> Just putting that out in the universe. <laughs> uh, what was the movie? The, it's got the... Um, Oh, Ferris Bueller or something? No, 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 no. I was thinking of, um, <laughs> or the, the... We have the internet. We can look this up, family. <laughs> oh, what's it called? The, um... Oh, can you hand it over? Oh, I don't know. It's, it's, it's Hold just... on, I'm literally going to look him up. Because I feel like he's been in everything. <laughs> like, how, like, Matthew Broderick, let's start naming it. What is it, like, uh... <coughs> Oh, and his wife is lovely. I don't know what. What is her name again, babe? She's from mm. Sex and the City. She was the tiny family. What is Matthew <laughs> Broderick's wife's name? Uh, Sarah, Sarah Jessica Parker. There we go, Sarah Jessica Parker. The, the movie I'm trying to think of. Hold on. Oh my gosh, I'm sad that he's not the first Matthew in. Um, yeah. What is this? IMDb. Mm -hmm. Matthew. Him and his girl he met, and um, they, they, they create a the war between Russia and Oh, uh, yeah, War Games. It was War Games, okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, I could watch War Games any, any given day, uh -huh. and, uh, but then saw him, seen him in person, and I was like, oh yeah, <laughs> let's do War Games. I think I've ever seen War Games. No, you've seen it. I have not. I have seen very few movies. I mean, I don't really watch a lot of movies. I watch a lot of foreign film, K drama. <laughs> My favorite app is Ricky, Vicky Red Tube. It streams basically anything from China, Korea, Thailand. I watch a lot of foreign movies. 
I'm sorry, America. I'm not interested in your TV. Oh, he's been in a lot of stuff. Mm-hmm. The Corners. He was in Bojack Horseman? Only two episodes, though. Okay. American Side. Mm-hmm. Manchester by the Sea. Trainwreck. Huey. Modern Family. Only one episode. Okay, maybe not. I don't know. He's been in a ton of stuff, though. Yeah. He is definitely an icon, I think, from our childhood. <laughs> not that I would have date myself, but family, you know. <laughs> you know. Yes. I'm sorry, brother. I can't. Well, technically, family, he made. not. He didn't make me, but. This is my first week of getting up at 5 30 in the morning, and it sucks <laughs> so badly. I don't know how he's been doing it for like ever. I don't know how. I don't know. You have to be there at five. Well, so you get up at what four the then? I work. My That's main, crazy, family. My real job. I work at UNF during the night. So I've been talking about putting in the condo with all fans. <laughs> Big time. No wonder the wife, the ex wife, left me. <laughs> <laughs> when do you sleep? Very rarely. <laughs> Are you? Ca- you're not even caffeinated enough. I know. <laughs> Family, I'm up to three five-hour energies a day. But seriously, you don't have like a small coffee addiction like the rest of us? No. <laughs> In fact, I'm going to insult people here. I like instant coffee over, you know. Yeah. But you're from England, so I yes. guess we can kind of, we can forgive that. We can forgive it. Yeah, I won't say what people coffee cut kind of serves in England when it comes to coffee. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure Americans are not connoisseurs, though, for real mm-hmm. coffee. But <laughs> we like Starbucks and we call it coffee. <laughs> Sorry, Starbucks. <laughs> I still have a sh- small addiction to you, so I'm forgiven. I refuse to spend five dollars on coffee. I'm sorry, I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> I'm actually allergic to coffee, so <clears throat> it straight up makes me sick, family. So I do the um, the refreshers from Starbucks, which are like their healthy Red Bull. Healthy Red Bull family. <laughs> I don't know, but it has like the most caffeine of all the drinks on the menu. So I'm like, yes, give me the largest one of that, please. What about you, Vic? Oh no, he does have a coffee addiction. Yes. <laughs> so, brother, I mean, is acting what you really want to do? Do you want to do directing or writing or um, that's really your your niche spot? That's where you like to do. Well, um. I think a lot of older type of actors go into directing and stuff. Personally, I don't see myself uh, writing. I have a lot of ideas that come to movies and storylines, but I have that thing called dyslexia, which kind of um, really um, dampens my ability to put things on paper and spend time on the computer. Uh, so. I'm not uh, degrading myself by any means. I know a lot of famous people um, have dyslexia in a bad way. But those that do um, find ways to overcome the um, um, what's the word? Um, disability. Mm-hmm. So um, I find ways. And when it comes to acting, when it comes to scripts, I'll find, I'll find ways to read them and memorize my lines. And um, in this forthcoming movie, which I'm not going to name the title, um, <laughs> you'll see. Darn, we're still <laughs> trying to get secret information out of him, family. Uh, I would have um, spent many, many hours rehearsing and rehearsing and rehearsing. And I, what I do is everyone has their own way of memorizing lines. Me, I. You always tell me I'm like, write the line down. When I see the line, I write it down. And then not only do I write the word, the line down, I have the line here, then the line here, then the line here, and so on. So I memorize the line, then the next line, and the next line, and the next line. And I will make sure that I read the whole script. 
same shape. Um, worse or worse. And then line by line, slowly, slowly. And then eventually, it becomes more fluent. Any word that I may have mispronounced, it becomes more natural. Absolutely. I love that family finding those strategies for success because let's be honest, all of us have um, something that allows us to walk the path a little bit, uh, maybe sideways, right? <laughs> but that's okay, family. This coyote has PTSD and I am here along with my amazing siblings and love of my life to prove that we can do anything, family. Mm -hmm. I agree. <laughs> Um, okay, so family, let us go ahead and Bay, do you have any um, questions before we move on to the next section? Uh, no. <laughs> family, this has been a wonderful evening before. Let's see. Let me make sure we haven't missed anything. Don't forget to follow our amazing guest tonight at Roy Kenny. Again, he is the founder of New Mexico Extras and Actors Forum. Please like and follow his page on Facebook, again, with over 10,000 followers. If you are a budding actor or looking for opportunities, please join his forum. There are cast calls that he posts, and he also is the one who will directly respond to you, family. I think it's a wonderful opportunity for our global family. Don't forget, again, to sponsor us on Patreon. Follow us on social media, at Drea Beta, hashtag Coyote Walking, real life, a Slato Pueblo superhero. I am on Facebook, LinkedIn, YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, Clubhouse, and soon to be Patreon, starting on Monday, family. And before we go, we'll go ahead and let our amazing guest, Roy, have the last word. Well. Again, I'm not going to release the name, okay? But there's going to be an opportunity for all people in town, uh, Albuquerque, Santa Fe, etc., in the film industry. We're creating a group. Me and Kawai are creating a group where the opportunity to meet at least once a month socially. No set time, no set place. That's my world release. Now it could be ice skating. It could be watching mobiles get beat. <laughs> <laughs> what if you're not coordinated about ice skating? <laughs> Just kidding, family. <laughs> um, it could be dancing at the um, at the um, what's the place called? Um, We haven't been dancing in like, I don't know, five years. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it could be anywhere. We could go be at the uh, trampoline place, you know, mm -hmm. and watch ourselves make a fool of ourselves, you know. I'm pretty sure um, you went there for a nephew's birthday, right? That I huge... didn't go, you went. There. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. It was a huge place with all these, like, wall. It's crazy, family. You should check it out. But, um, if you like karaoke, do the karaoke. Um, if you like a, a nice quiet fit environment, do the nice quiet fit environment too. So, um, dirty burger, that's the one. I couldn't think of it out. So if you like to go country dancing, um, there'll be opportunity to meet with your fellow uh, background actors. And um, we got fun. This is, group is gonna grow. It really is gonna grow because not only do we get out not only do we um, meet people in the film industry, we talk and make friends, but sometimes that's where it starts, at the gig, you know, and we don't see that person until the next gig, you know, and continue our stories. So this group is going to create a family of friends within the industry. Where we go out and have fun. Just watch this space. It will be posted on the New Mexico Extra Actors Forum. And there you have the opportunity to join the group name and follow 
where we'll be hosting activities, or just make a tour of ourselves, fall, fall in in ice skating and trying to sing. Whereas I can't sing a note, but I love a go. Thank you again so much, brother. Family, it has been a pleasure um, having our amazing brother here, Roy. Vic, do you have anything to say to our amazing global family before we go? Uh, just we love you all. <laughs> we absolutely love you all, family. And don't forget to engage in self-care and spend quality time with the ones you love. Have a good night, family. I will see you again. We are starting up our podcast, and they will be airing every two weeks. I look forward to sharing our adventures with you all. Don't forget to stay safe. Off to cast trouble somewhere else.